Offense, what you like to do is shots that matter. Mm -hmm. This one right here in Phoenix, the game had been back and forth. And I mean, you know, anything can happen in 130. But when you hit this shot, it close the curtains. It, right. It closed it. Yeah, that's what I thrive in. I really, honestly, I just try to make those big shots and try to be, put myself in position to make those shots. Brooke did a great pass. And you knock it down, and I believe right after that, timeout, which is what you had brought up. You said that's, that's, a, that's exactly what I love to do. Okay, Bucks Film Room is back. This time we have Bucks newcomer Jay Crowder. Jay, before we get into the clips, how do Bucks film sessions compare? Or how are they different than some of the other teams you've been on? We do a fair, fair amount of uh, watching film. I would say the attention to detail is there. Um, it's at a high level. Um, we have a good dialogue too. Coach Bud does a great job of letting us uh, chime in if need be uh, to talk about a few coverages or, or changes or anything. So that's great. I've got an array of, of clips here. Defense, offense, hustle mm -hmm. plays. Uh, stuff that gets everybody hyped, but what's your favorite part of the game? Like, if you do blank, you feel good about Stopping it. Stopping the team from scoring. Really? Yes. Okay, I think I was on par then, then. <laughs> with this with this first clip. Uh, this is your second game as a Buck. Uh, Phoenix was in town, and I was just impressed with the ability of you and Drew to switch, and, and we'll go through it. Okay. Let me know if this play kind of comes in your mind once yeah. it starts to go. Okay, right here. It's getting to the clutch. I know Booker wants to shoot the ball, um, so I want to be a, as aggressive as possible. I don't care how far on the court. I was just feeding off of Drew. Drew is picking him up full court, half court area. So I just want to be our switch to be 1A, 1B, and be on the same page, and that's what you see right here. What, what's the goal when you're on the ball? Well, I'm trying to push Book left. I know he don't want us to go left. Uh, he obviously can go left, but I know he wants to get to his jumper going to his right. So I'm, my position is push left, push into Brook, as deep as possible, and, I'm, and Drew is just doing his thing. Right there, there's no call. Drew just knows he wants to get the shot up right here, and he sees the shot clock at 1.6, so it's like he's going to shoot the ball. Have you gotten used to having Brooke behind you? And as game, as, that's why I'm pissed that I'm hurt right now, because as games go on, I get more and more comfortable knowing he has my back. Right. His voice is there, his body's there. I just got to continue to do my work early and often. Uh, and just trust him. Uh, it's going to clean me up if I have a uh, breakdown. And through the crowd, like, you can still hear Brooke. Oh, for sure. Yeah. We're locked in. I mean, that's just about being locked in, hearing his voice. Uh, he's definitely making it um, making it so I, I, I hear him at, the, at a pivotal time in the game. Okay, so now we go to offense. Because, you know, I always like to put on the record, the defensive guys, you still like to score. I like to score big ones, though. Okay. I'm not, I'm not just trying to – I mean, I like to score, obviously, but I've honed to the role of just – Making big shots, okay. and I try to make the big ones—the ones that make the team like drop their heads, call a timeout. Those are shots that I thrive in, and I, I want. We've got one of those later, and I, th I think you know the scenario there. But this one, Brooklyn. I just want to talk about the, the driving kick. Like these are the opportunities that you get on this team. This one happens to be Drew, mm -hmm. but but Giannis, you've, you've gotten mm -hmm. it from Giannis. What's your role when you see Drew? kind of in an action there. And you, it was a slight inch up, but that makes a difference. Really getting, I'm thinking of getting, getting his line of vision. Mm -hmm. Obviously I'm trying to get an, uh, above the defender and trying to get to where Drew can have an outlet to see me if he don't feel like he can finish at the rim. And I didn't want to crash early because I want to give him an outlet, obviously. He's right. crashing down, he's getting into the paint. I want to give him an outlet to, to, for a shooter to uh, shoot. So that's what I was thinking right here. I just want to go back because it was just the slightest of a movement. You see uh -huh. right there? Yep. Like, like a step can make all the difference, line of sight. The defender, he, he's not looking at me, he's looking at Drew. I know my defender is looking at Drew. So I just want to, he saw me at one area, I want to go to another area where, I'm, where he don't know where I'm at. So, and get in the line, of, the line of vision of Drew. So that's all I was thinking. So that, that, that's a spot up three. Mm -hmm. uh, big, I mean, can we give Brooke some love? Big guard. <laughs> He's a big guard. And then the dime to you, but, but I mean, obviously Brooke set it up, but you knowing. Where I need to be right, on the right, drive. Right. Even, right. Even, even if he shoots the ball, I want to give myself position to offensive rebound. So I was already creeping in a little bit because I thought he was going to shoot it, but I was playing off of his man. My man went to help on, on his drive, and I was able to be in the right spot. He knew where I was going to be, too. Right. And has that come with, with time as well? I know you'll probably have to get reacclimated when you get back on the court, but this is the Sacramento game. So you had had a few games yes. to understand what the dunk And not just me watching film like we're doing now. Just right. me sitting back in my, in my hotel room watching film, watching guys play off of one another and knowing where I need to be on the court. 
When it was brewing, were you making sure that you were watching Bucks basketball? Yes. Ooh, okay. Yes, I was at home watching every game that's been played. And how did that help you when ultimately you got here? Yeah, it helped me. Obviously, <laughs> playing against these guys helped me too, but just knowing um, the style of play even more, just diving into it and seeing myself out there, visioning myself out there uh, was something I was trying to do leading up to the trade. Okay, so this is the same game, and I, I remember <laughs> – I asked Coach Bud after the game about this specific play because he always brings up winning plays. And this I don't know is what happened right here. Defensively, chasing around, chasing around. Oh, illegal like screen, huh? Yes, yes. But it, it takes a veteran to, to set it up because if you don't. Well, I'm, in a, I'm on a hot player right now. He's, uh -huh. he's made a lot of threes up until this point of the game, and I didn't want to go under anything. So I'm, if, if you see every handoff, every DHO or pick and roll, I'm going over the top. I'm not yeah. going under. And I think that set me up to, I knew I was a bonus was going to try to lay it on me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just tried to go over every screen, and he did a illegal little, little side step right there. But do you have to sell it a little bit? A little bit. He knocked the, <laughs> you know <laughs> what, out of me. He got me good right yeah, there. Yeah, he yeah. put the shoulder in my chest right there. And so I just had to go, go down. I had to. One note, though, because if you're going under the screens or if you're detached from Kevin Herter, that call doesn't happen. Correct. And I, I'm aware he has it going. And this is winning time right here. This seven yeah. minute mark of the fourth. He has it going. He made, look, he, he yeah. actually made the shot. He, he was pretty hot. I mean, and I brought this up because I was like, I mean, those are things that you're not going to see it in the box score, but uh, it's an important part of the game. Yeah, just trying to fill the game out. Like I said, a hot player right there. I just want to go over every pick and roll. No, go under, give him any airspace. So you brought up offense, which you like to do is shots that matter. Mm -hmm. This one right here in Phoenix, the game had been back and forth, and I mean, you know anything can happen in 1.30, but when you hit this shot... It, Close the curtains. It, right, it closed it. Yeah, that's what I thrive in. I really honestly thrive in making that shot. I, I try to focus and I try to be uh, still engaged and locked in, no matter the score. We're, whether we were down right now, that's a big shot. Mm -hmm. I just try to make those big shots and try to be, put myself in position to make those shots. Brooke did a great pass. And I think Brooke just going through his reads. They ran a trap now. We ran this play. They trapped us. Yeah. Got off to Brooke. Brooke made a great read. And you knock it down. And I believe right after that, timeout, which is what you had brought up. You said that's, that's, a, that's exactly what I love to do. I wanted to, and, and look here. I mean, you're a couple weeks into Milwaukee, and this is how the guys embrace you. Since day one. It's been a great locker room. Easy going locker room, veteran locker room, and, and I'm very work mentality locker room. It's just very easy for me to come and be acclimated with, with every guy um, from top to bottom. For sure. Uh, we all miss you on the court. How, how are you coming along? I'm close. Um, no setbacks right now. Training is going well. I'm progressing at the right pace, hopefully. Um, at some point in this next road trip coming up, I, I'm able to suit back up and finish the season the right way. Love that. The season's going by quickly. Mm -hmm. Like, there's not a lot of games left. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm upset that I'm, I've had this little setback because yeah. I need every game to just get myself where it needs to be yeah. and continue to feed off and read my teammates where it needs to be going into a high-level basketball that's playoff. So I'm a little upset. I was a little upset a few days ago, but now my mental is where it needs to be, just moving forward, making the days count. And did those first few games that you had with this team prove to yourself that, like, okay, you understand the system. You can go in and, and impact winning regardless of how many games you No have. doubt about it. Yeah. It made me feel like, okay, we're, we're on the right track. Everyone is on the same page, and I'm able to just – put the work in now and just continue to build, no doubt. You're one of the most battle-tested guys on this team. Uh, you've been to the finals. So what what is different about the playoffs? I just want to get your, your take on it. Before I just think your mental needs to be where it needs to be, uh, where it has to be to, to play at a high level. Um, and I want to say mental is like knowing your opponent, respecting your opponent, um, knowing what they want to get done on, on both ends of the court and try to take it away, make it as tough as possible. And I think, like I said, we have a veteran locker room, so we're going to be locked in on the scout. We're going to be locked in on our opponent. We just can't have any uh, mishaps, and I think we'll do a good job of preaching it, preaching it to one another. And physically, you want to be the most healthy team. Everyone's going to be a little banged up when it comes to playoff time. You just pray that you have good faith and have good, good luck with the injury bug. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, for appreciate, the, appreciate you guys.